Psalms chapter 139. O Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest ocean, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night. But even in darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And then when I wake up, you're still with me. You know something amazing that I got when I was reading Exodus chapter 1? When I finally finished reading that chapter, God connected me to Psalms 139, which is the one that is here where I am right now. And something that stood out was the fact that the midwives in Exodus chapter 1, they refused to be a part of the massacre of all those babies that were being born. They refused to be part of part of the, pe the people that destroyed these lives before they even got a chance to live before they got a chance to walk in their purpose. So one thing that stood out for me in that Bible study session that, on that day, I think two days ago, is the fact that everyone who comes into this world, everyone, it's ordained by God. Whether you live for a few weeks, whether you live for years, whether you live for months, there's a reason that God brought you to this earth. That's why Psalms 139 is very powerful, especially from verse 13. It says, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. And David went on to say, this was David pouring out his heart to God, and he went on to say, You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. You see, every day, of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. So, this is just to tell you that you're very special. Yes, you, you who might not feel so special, you who might not feel like you're making much of an impact, there's a reason that God brought you to this world. And the only way you can realize that purpose, that reason, is by accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior and walking with Him and allowing Him
to lead you into that purpose. It's that simple. Just accept him. Walk with him. And he will show you why he brought you to this earth.